Oh, he's real abstract. He's, um, he's different. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm cute, too. Blanca. Blanca? Who doesn't love Blanca? I don't like him. I just don't like him. He's the fucking coolest. He's green, he'll roll into, and he'll shock the shit out of you. It feels so fucking good, especially on my dick. Yeah, you like that, don't you, bitch? Why isn't he in Street Fighter V? That makes me so sad. Anyway, Blanca is so cool. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're so cool. Everyone wants to be Blanca. It's a wannabe who looks like him. Sorry. So much so in the video game world, there's a ton of wannabe Blancas. I mean, there's actually been a shit ton throughout the years. Now, why being a wannabe is a nice testament to how cool Blanca is. That's right. The fact of the matter is there's only one Blanca. And why some of these wannabes are pretty cool, they're all lame compared to the number one OG Blanca. Regardless, this is my top... 13... Wannabe Blancas. You, you fucking sure about that? I can find 13 of these motherfuckers, right? I bet you I can. I could probably find 100 of them, because there's so many wannabe Blancas. Anyway, so this is the top 13 Blancas. That ain't Blanca. 13 is an unlucky number. A lot of people don't think Mortal Kombat has a wannabe Blanca. Well, check out Kano. Kano's doing a Blanca roll. Man, fuck you, Kano. You ain't Blanca. Blanca would kick the shit out of Kano. Oh, really? Kano wins. Kano even has an upward roll. I mean, Blanca came out way before Kano, so you can't even claim that he's not a ripoff. Look at Kano getting his ass kicked by this noob. Blanca wouldn't lose to some noob. He's a wannabe. Dana told me about that big snake situation. Uh, I mean, dude, just look at this guy. Come on, the dude's a wannabe Blanca. Capcom just took Blanca and made him the basis for a Mega Man boss. Sure, he's got Vega Claws, which is a common theme for some reason. Gotta put claws on these motherfuckers. Yeah, no, he doesn't have a jungle stage. It's more of a Jurassic Park stage. Welcome to Jurassic Park. T-Rex? You said you've got a T-Rex? Hey, I'm gonna eat y'all. Eat this! Although you do kind of have to admit, these motherfucking snakes wrapped around this motherfucking tree kind of remind me of the snakes wrapped around the motherfucking trees in Blanca's stage. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes! And Slashman himself isn't very Blanca, though he does kind of jump around and can be kind of squirrely like Blanca. But on looks alone, this guy makes the list. This dude looks like Blanca. Kinda, sorta. I don't see any resemblance. Welcome to Earth. Now the first Alien vs Predator game released for the SNES was a pretty flawed, boring beat em up, even though there's way worse on the system. Now when you play this game, the last thing you'd expect is a fucking wannabe Blanca. But look at this alien, why is he walking around all hunched over like somebody I kinda know? I mean look at his jump attack that he does so much. It's his primary attack, but it, I don't know, it kinda reminds me of Blanca. In fact the whole movement of this guy all hunched over, all low to the ground is very reminiscent of Blanca. A fucking alien is a wannabe Blanca. Go figure, stupid alien. You ain't Blanca. Blanca wouldn't get his ass kicked by no predator. This just shows you that you don't have to be green or necessarily have the look to be a wannabe Blanca. Though it does help. Look at this bass. He's a wannabe Blanca. What are you talking about, cracker? You like a pit bull with that little pink thing hanging out. Now, most haven't played this old ass 1992 arcade game by Sega, but I'm not here to really talk on games much. But Dark Edge is an early 3D fighting game, meaning it was the sort of fighter where you could move from the foreground and the background. You needed your own dedicated jump button. It's a lot of fun. The announcer comes from that Sega school of Elmer Fudd. First round! Second round! Third round! But I'm getting off subject, we're here to talk about Blancos. And this guy, Blood from Dark Edge? I mean, just look at him. Who the fuck does he think he is? Fucking Blanca? Well, he's not Blanca, I'll give him a C for effort, which is why he's where he is on this list. Still, this dude's green. Mr. Pink sounds like Mr. Pussy. He's got the brown thing going, and look at the way he jumps, it's kind of like Blanca. And even when he wins, he does this little ball thing. And his low attacks and stuff, man, I don't know, you kind of remind me of Blanca. So I think he's clearly qualifies as a wannabe. Uh, but he's getting his ass kicked by this girl. Blanca wouldn't lose to some girl. You lose. You 
gonna go into the motherfucking jungle? I'm in the jungle, look around. Pro wrestling has a wannabe blocker. I find that to be a little far-fetched. Now his name's the Amazon, but he's not from the Amazon. His origins are unknown. However, his name is the Amazon. Blank is from the Amazon, isn't he? I don't know, but this guy looks like more of a wannabe creature from the Black Lagoon, if you ask me. However, look at him. He's biting this shit. That's something Blanca would do, and he is green. I'm retarded, but even if he does look like the creature from the Black Lagoon, maybe really, really deep on the inside, he's more of a wannabe Blanca. Right here where it counts in the heart. I mean, his origins are unknown, so I can make up anything. But his name is the Amazon, as I already said. So maybe he didn't want to make Blanca look bad, so he went for a creature of the Black Lagoon look. But again, inside, he's a wannabe Blanca. I'm getting that feeling, man. So for that alone, just for having the heart, Amazon makes it on the list as a wannabe Blanca. So this big-ass guy from some game called Blood Will Tell, I don't know, man. He's trying too hard. I mean, I don't need to say the obvious. He's green. He's got chest hair. He's jumping around like Blanca a little bit. He's got the hunched over low vibe. Again, the horns set him apart, but believe it or not, he's not the only horny person that would be on this list. Still, he doesn't have any rolls or he doesn't shock like Blanca, so this is more of a resemblance sort of listing. But still, fuck this guy. He's fucking big. He's too damn big. I mean, I don't even know if Blanca could kick this guy's ass, if I'm quite honest with you. I mean, I guess the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Blanca could probably just roll right up into his asshole and just shock the shit out of him there. He'd probably even shock his dick, but uh, we, I think we've come to the conclusion that actually feels good. Oh, yeah! Shock the monkey! Shock the monkey! Shock the monkey! Oh, yeah, get the balls, too. Oh, yeah, shock the balls! Shock the balls! Speaking of which, this guy doesn't have much of a bulge. I mean, Blanca's got a nice big dick, so I don't really see the bulge on this guy. So that's a bit disappointing. But whatever, he's got to be a bit lower on this list, because besides his lack of sausage, I'm just afraid he's just too damn big. If you want to be Blanca, maybe try being a normal-sized motherfucker, motherfucker. All right, so this guy, Gamnan Shagranya, I'm not even gonna try to say his fucking name. It's complicated, unlike Blanca, which is a simple, nice name, but Gang Gang Ranya for Samurai Showdown, at least Samurai Showdown 1 and 2, I'd say he's a wannabe Blanca. At first, maybe you don't see it. He's got that fucking claw again. I don't know what's up with these claws on these wannabe Blancas. Oh, we just Freddy Krueger hybrid him, and then he won't be a wannabe Blanca. Fuck this wannabe Blanca. But at the end of the day, this guy's uh, green, first of all. He's a low fighter. He's a little more hunched down on the ground. Pretty stereotypical at this point of what we've seen from these wannabe fucking Blancas. But then all of a sudden, oh my god, look at some of his moves. Shit, when he loses his claw, he looks even more like Blanca. But he's got that rolling attack. That signature to Blanca, the guy's a fucking wannabe. End of fucking story. Now, Samurai Showdown is a pretty dope game, and having a wannabe Blanca is probably a good thing. So, that's why it places where it does on the list. Nine. Dude, I'd be scared too. Your mom's a fucking bitch. Don't call my mom a bitch, you fat fuck! Uh, so Idol is not a wannabe Blanca, but sometimes he's green, yeah. Well, so what? It's a primary color and people like green. Smoke weed every day. You're in a fighting game, Killer Instinct, that's great. That's not really a criteria for being a wannabe Blanca. However, there was something strange about Idol, which I can't really explain, but let's just take a look at this. But I, but I can't read! Are you aware? Oh my god, do you know what this means? This means that Idol's mother is a wannabe Blanca's mother. Yeah. However, unlike the tearful, joyful reunion between Blanca and his mama, Idol's just like, fuck you, mama. I ain't got no mama. And Idol's mother being a wannabe Blanca's mother, I'd say she deserves this. I mean, fuck her. She's just after Idol's killer instinct money, man. Fucking greedy bitch. So I guess there's no wannabe Blanca's here, but there's a wannabe Blanca's mom, I guess. So that... Gonna thing, yeah. Get a 
load of the tits on her. Big tits. Huh? Hey! Okay, so Sailor Moon is some weird shit that I've never gotten into. I guess they're pretty ladies, but I've never watched the show for some reason. Oh my god, fucking Sailor Moon bitches are so fucking... I don't even know which one I like better. Which one I like better? I like them all. Fucking Sailor Moon bitches. Sailor Moon bitches! Yeah, Sailor Moon bitches! Why haven't I watched this show? Is this hentai? Is this hentai? I've never watched hentai before. I've never seen no hentai before. Oh my gosh, Sailor Moon fucking bitches. Oh, I'm good. I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the green one. No, the blue one. No, the other blue one. Oh, the white. Oh, God, Sailor Moon bitches. Is this hentai? Is this hentai? Ha! I'm got bust. Busting. Oh, shit. Are you done? But I have played a few of their games, mainly this arcade game. The shit's hell, I don't recommend it, I've never gotten into it. What girl? What girl? We'll see, when I next time I come back in here, whichever bitch I start choking, that's what girl. I hear the Famicom and Mega Drive games are good though, but again, after playing the arcade game, I don't know. Guess I'm more into guys. Like guy from Final Fight. I like Final Fight. I mean, Poison? Oh man, I'd suck that dick so hard. So fast. Man, I fucked your dick, man. What you say to me? Ow, suck yo. In fact, one time I did, and now I know why she's called Poison. She made me sick. Anyway, but this guy looking like a dragon face thing from one of those Chinese parades, why is he rolling around like Blanca? Wanna be Blanca much? Which is stupid. Blanca wouldn't be getting his ass kicked by no long-legged Sailor Moon girls, not like this silly looking wannabe Blanca mofo, but then for some reason these games also have werewolves in them. Now these aren't regular werewolves. Werewolves. But they kinda look like Blanca. The fuck Sailor Moon games, you trying to have more than one wannabe Blanca in your games? I mean werewolves are supposed to look like werewolves. Not Blanca. I mean, werewolves in other games don't have moves like Blanca. Wait. He's rolling around. Kind of flippy floppy. Like Blanca. Well, there's a game, uh, Night Slashers. I like Night Slashers. There's, there's werewolves in that game. They don't look like Blanca. Actually, they kind of fucking do. God damn it. Alright. Okay, so the stupid rolly guy from fucking Sailor Moon and the freaking werewolf from Sailor Moon and the werewolf from Night Slasher and the werewolf from Werewolf all tie for wannabe Blancas. The werewolf and Rolly Guy, fuck it. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Confused. Just suck my dick, bitch. Kevin! Can't be with people. So obviously Capcom owns Street Fighter, so fuck, whatever. They have to keep sticking in wannabe Blancas in their games, I guess. Cadillacs and dinosaurs, how are they gonna be a what a wannabe Blanca dinosaur in this game or something? I don't know. But playing Cadillacs and dinosaurs, this bitch shows up. Wannabe Blanca dead o'clock in Cadillac dinosaurs. Look at that guy. He thinks he's fucking Blanca. Look at him. He thinks he's fucking Blanca. And besides having a wannabe Blanca, this game's actually pretty cool, so it definitely deserves this spot on the list, I guess. I mean, but this fucking guy right here, what's his name? Bulge? His name is Bulge? No, Bludge. He looks kind of like Blanca. Alright, come here, Ronnie Blanca. You got something for me? You think you're fucking Blanca? You think you're Blanca? You ain't Blanca. You're dead. Blanca wanna be dead. Now, a lot of people tell me this guy's a wannabe Blanca. I like the Blancas in the Streets of Rage. You seen that? No. Oh. They jump around with claws and. You don't, you don't know what that is? No, we should play that game. But honestly, not really. I mean, he's got the hair, kind of. He's got very little moves like Blanca. Those suplex is very much from the school of Blanca. But it wasn't until I saw him do this roll that I said, Oh shit, motherfucker thinks he's Blanca. But still, at the end of the day, I think this guy's more of a wannabe slash man with the claws and everything. What's up with all these wannabe Blancas and claws on their hands? They think like this claw is gonna offset the fact that they're a wannabe motherfucking Blanca? But Slash Man was a wannabe Blanca, so whatever. But this guy's even more of a pussy. I mean, taking on regular Joes from the Streets of Rage? These motherfuckers ain't elite fighters like in Street Fighter, or even super fighting robots such as Slash Man from Mega Man. I mean, I don't think this guy could stand up to any of those cats, because why he's an admirable foe for the streets, he's still getting his ass kicked. Blanca wouldn't be getting his ass kicked by any of these mofos. Look at this Blanca getting his ass kicked by some girl. Blanca wouldn't get his ass kicked by some girl. That was because of the other guys. 
So this guy's definitely a sorry ass Blanca, but nonetheless, put him on the list. Five. I meet the twins, and Bob. So yeah, Captain and Commander, why it's not breaking my personal top 10 when it comes to Capcom Arcade beat-em-ups, it's still a decent good game, no doubt about it. Now some people may know where I'm going with this and assume this mofo is the obvious choice here. The scuba gear wearing Blancas. The scuba gear wearing Blancas. But really, scuba gear wearing Blancas? Uh, no. I mean, I guess I can kind of see the similarities to Blanca, but that's not good enough. There's plenty of look-alike Blancas on this list. This guy ain't gonna make the cut. I mean, what's up with this spear gun? What, are we hunting whales? If anything, he's more of a wannabe Horace Belger from Final Fight, whose crossbow acts very much the same way as these wannabe Blanca bitches' weapons. In fact, these things can be a pain in the ass, but just like Belger from Final Fight, you can just punch these arrows out of your way with your fist, and then you can easily handle these fucks. I get your whale spears out of my face. If I wanted a dolphin cursing or an ampullin cursing, I'd go get one. If I wanted a fucking Prince Albert, I'd go to the UK and fuck him. So keep these things away from my dick. Again, I can see why some people might see these guys as an obvious choice, but yeah, no. The thing that really makes Blanca unique is his electrical powers, and I'll admit that's severely lacking on this list for some reason. However, enter in these hotties. Oh my god, Brenda and Carol. Now these chicks know where it's at. Like Blanca, they just want to shock you all night long with their electrical sex toys. Or maybe their tuning forks. I don't know. Regardless, God, I wish I could get between these two beauties. They could shock my dick all night long. I mean, if heaven exists, that would be it. That's what's up. Now, just like in real life, it's really hard to pick which twin you like better, but you gotta go with Brenda. Besides having a prettier name, she even sports the green, which ups her Blanca spirit even more. Unfortunately, they're kind of low-level lackeys, but what's harder than twins that want to fucking kill you via electrocution? That's right, nothing. So for that alone, and their blank of spirit, and knowing that electrocution, especially in my lower extremities region, is such a turn on. So for that, they definitely earn a place on this list. Even over these bitches, you should probably just stick to whale hunting with their whale spear guns. I mean, if you want to kill some fish, take down a whale, maybe consider electricity, you bitches. I mean, these chicks know what's up. Yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buddy. yeah, baby, yeah, baby. You just, can you wait a second, please? Oh, yeah, baby. I can wait so good. Four. So I love guys, but Blanca would never lose to some guy. Never. Ever. Still, playing Final Fight 3, there's these Joes, and they look like mini-me fucking Blancas. Sure, they're not green, but come on, they're trying to constantly fuck this guy. And they got the moves like Blanca, but it's all wrong. You gotta bite that guy, don't just headbutt him. Stupid little mini-me fucking Blancas. There's one scene where there's like 25 of these mini-me Blanca motherfuckers trying to make love to this guy in an elevator. This ain't the Aerosmith game. Still all these mini-me wannabe Blancas still can't fuck this guy. They can't even give him a tug jab. Blanca could get a tug job from this guy if he really wanted it, but Blanca is rolling in the jungle pussy, so he doesn't want it. Still these Joes rolling around all over the place, straddling and looking like little Blancas, and being in an actual decent beat-em-up on the SNES in the game Final Fight 3, you gotta put him on the list. Blanca, of course, would just shock all these motherfuckers off his ass like, Please, easy peasy, but even this guy ain't having too much trouble with him. I think Mini Me from Austin Powers could probably take out a couple of these Joes, quite honestly, so fuck these little wannabe Blanca bitches. I'm pregnant. Not anymore! Three! Now, most haven't played the Konami Fighter Monster Mauler. Hell, I'm not even sure it came out in the States, it might have, but it's pretty awesome. Its main gimmicks are fighting some cool monsters. Many of you may know from other Konami games. Have you ever wanted to kick the shit out of the rock guys from Gradius in a fighting game setting? Actually, our tradition is to punch him in the nose. Hold still. Oh, no! Pretty good punch, you got maggot. What about the eyeball mofo from Life Force? Well, here you can. This is your brain. This is what happens to your brain. You're snorting heroin. Any questions? Yeah! What do you want? The main highlight of this game is co-op, as you can fight cooperatively two-on-one, which is unique in a fighter, and often you have to fight a bunch of monsters before the main actual boss fight, so it's a little more open, and that's pretty unique as a fighter. Now, you can only pick from three hero characters to go face off against the monsters, to maul them, I guess. I always pick this chick, of course, that's sort of my thing. What, you think I was fucking gay? <laughs> I love how excited she is to be selected. It gives us a nice boob jiggle. Mmm, early 90s jiggle physics. Nice touch, Konami. Kinda wanna touch myself. So, where's the Blancas, though? Well, this is Diablo, and guess what? We'll find Dr. Wally. Go ahead and guess. He's a wannabe Blanca. He's got the look right. 
Sure, he's got these horns, he's Diablo, but the no shirt, wearing only shorts looks kinda nails Blanca. I mean, look at the face. His moves differ, but when he's getting hit, I don't know, kinda looks like Blanca to me. Still, he's a pussy, unlike Blanca. I mean, look at him getting his ass kicked by this girl. Blanca wouldn't get his ass kicked by no girl. The way he falls, he falls like Blanca even. I once more emphasize the similarities. Dude, that guy's such a wannabe Blanca, it's not even funny. Again, this game's pretty cool, and this guy definitely gets a B plus for being a wannabe Blanca. What the fuck you looking at? He's cyan blue and not green, so despite a valiant effort for his impersonation, still he deserves to be pecked to death by these fucking crows in my opinion. Go to hell, Diablo. You ain't Blanca. Blanca wanna be pecked by no crows getting ass kicked by some girl. He had a burger. Nearly pecked my face off. <laughs> This Rasta guy from Saturday Slam Masters, he's kind of big like Blanca, strong like Blanca. I mean, Rasta, upon entrance, comes in with his monkey friend. I mean, a snake would have been cool, but still a monkey, they come from the jungle or the Amazon, kind of like Blanca, who was once a human until a plane crash over Brazil mutated him and made him electrical. Oh, this sucker's electrical! Still, prior to this plane crash, I'd like to think if Blanca was human, maybe he'd resemble Mr. Rasta here. In fact, and I didn't even know this until after placing Rasta on this list, but there are rumors that King Rasta Mom's design was an early character model for Blanca's. This kind of makes sense, not just because this is both Capcom games, but Rasta comes from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, which isn't too far from Brazil, so maybe he is Blanca. He does this moves like Blanca. He got the moves like Blanca. In many ways, he's got similar moves. For instance, much like Blanca's electrical charge done by mashing away on the attack button, Rasta has a rapid punch done in the same way, which will get you the fuck off him real quick, but the one move that really sticks out, much like Amazon from Pro Wrestling, is one of his grapples, which includes Blanca's signature bite and chop, with blood and everything, just like Blanca. Except Rasta's is, dare I say, more primal and fucking sexy. I mean, he licks your face before tasting that blood. Yeah, he likes to taste you before taking a bite. Nice sexy lick across the face. Now that's fucking hot. So hot. Now besides all that, he's got the green and brown color scheme, the hunched over vibe. He's of equal size and he's got that beautiful, beautiful mane of chest hair. Just like Blanca. Again, this guy might not even be a wannabe Blanca. He might fucking be Blanca. Pre-playing crash that turned Blanca from human into the feral beast he is. Although I hope he's not really Blanca because then he couldn't be a wannabe and he wouldn't be on the list at all. But just the possibility alone that this guy is fucking Blanca. Rumor or not, definitely deserves mention. He got the moves like Blanca. Alright, so this guy, Red Freddy. Red Freddy? Red Freddy? Really? Really? Red Freddy? Now this guy is from the awesome final arcade beat-em-up released by Konami way back in 1993 called Violent Storm. It's such a wannabe Blanca. I mean, he's a bit too skinny. Put some meat on the bones, Freddy. Maybe cut your nails, get a pedicure. But otherwise, he's got the look. This dude's really sort of a serious asshole though. So like our dudes are like hanging out waiting for our chick friend. She comes out the store with some groceries and shit and this motherfucker Red Freddy comes rolling on by with his motorcycle and just snatches her up. What the fuck? Blanca, Blanca stole my chick. Don't know if Blanca would do that. So throughout our adventure of this game, to get our chick friend back, we keep bumping into this guy, this wannabe Blanca, motherfucker. He keeps taunting us and having his lackeys battle us. We eventually get to fight this bitch, but turns out he's no Blanc at all. Typical wannabe. He's sort of a pushover, really. And in a twist ending of sorts, it turns out he's not even the final boss at all. Which makes sense, of course he's working for someone else. Blanca wouldn't have worked for anyone else, he's his own badass. Unlike Red Freddy, he's not even red. He's green, like Blanca. Why is his name Freddy? Is it his bitch ass nails? He thinks they're like Freddy Claws? Rawr. Whatever, fuck his name. There's all sorts of weird names in this Violent Storm game. I mean, look at this guy, his name's Lollipop. Lollipop, Lollipop, I want a Lollipop, a Lollipop. Is that the same song? Da -dum -dum -dum. Still, the fact that this guy really has the Blanca look and the fact that Brown and Storm is such a badass game makes this motherfucker our number one Blanca wannabe. He may not have the moves, but on looks alone and him being an adversary of sorts definitely gets him this prestigious honor of being our number one Blanca. Final! Dude. Dude, I punched her in the twat. How is she still not fucking pregnant? I 
fucking punched her in the twat. How is she not pregnant? So I was playing the arcade version of Street Fighter the movie The Game, hoping to play as my favorite character, Blanca. And guess what? He don't even show up in the game. Wait, where's Blanca? Where's Blanca? At least not as a playable character. Now the arcade version of this game, despite the movie and the game's general consensus among gamers, this arcade game isn't that bad. Dude, you can't do a breast kick, Cammy. Counter? Dude, you trying to fuck me on the counter? I, I get it, I get it. But why? Why would you fuck me on the counter? Fuck me on the pinball machine. That's where all the fucking should be done. Not in the bed, not in the kitchen, not on the counter, but on the fucking pinball machine. I wish I could make this guy smell my fucking sweet pussy. I wish I knew how to just smell my pussy move. Now smell it! Oh, hey man, get that dirty old fave out of my face! Cause that move is the fucking shit. What's going down, bro? Oh, you come at me like that, partner. Come on, bro. Really? Yeah. Counter! It plays okay, it looks like, the music's not bad. I mean, some staple characters even have new custom, unique moves custom to this game. Oh, look at that, cammy has got a fucking hair whippy whippy whippy. Like Cammy's fucking ability to choke a motherfucker with a ponytail. That's fucking gangster. Yes! As far as I'm concerned, that's a goddamn fatality. Fuck, man, I wish Cammy would choke me with her ponytail and make this whole autoerotic asphyxiation thing a lot simpler. Plus, Cammy's so fucking hot. You get, I mean, you know why they call her Cammy, right? That's right, that legendary cam toe. Yep, that cam toe. Oh, that fucking cam toe. That's why they call her Cammy. I betcha. The cam toe. Still, this arcade had no Blanca. Whatever, game's alright. That being said, this arcade version wasn't the same as the home ports for the PS1 or Saturn, which actually aren't even really ports, but a completely new version of the game. Regardless, I hear those have blankets, so fine, I'll go play those. And oh my god, they fucked this game up. They changed it way too much from their arcade game and it plays like shit. Cammy even got her fucking pigtail choke up motherfucking move no more. And overall, the game plays more traditional, but shittier with bad music, shitty backgrounds, frustrating game modes, and choppy gameplay. Still, it's got Blanca, and oh my god, what the fuck? What the fucking fuck? No, this ain't Blanca, man. This ain't Blanca. Now, I get that they changed Blanca's backstory for this game, and Blanca can have a few origin stories depending on what Street Fighter game you play, but the movies is retarded. I mean, I guess M. Bison took some guy and brainwashed him and stuck Ecto Cooler and various types of Kool-Aid in him to make him slowly look like a fucking retard. Still, even in the movie, though, he didn't look this bad. I mean, this ain't fucking fucking Blanca, man. He's too goddamn skinny. In fact, for some reason, all the Street Fighter characters are too fucking skinny in this movie game. Oh, Zangief, you're not big enough. Dude, Zangief looks like... Dude, I saw this guy in a gay porno. Get off me. Not until you shove that big dick up my ass. Why are you always talking about my dick? I watch gay porn from time to time. But whatever, and... But what? Why is he wearing Guile shorts? It's like he's a wannabe Guile. Cause he sure as shit ain't no fucking Blanca. He doesn't even straddle you no more. He puts his knee on you. Like what kind of fucking gentle poon tank shit is this? When Blanca straddles you, why he bites your face hoping his body weight will bring you down. Cause if it does, he'll throw you across the fucking room if your bitch ass can't handle that Blanca straddle. But now he's gonna put his knee on you all gentle like a bitch. Again, his sound effects and everything are sad. What's he doing when he wins? I'm looking. He's a peeping Tom. Oh my god, you're flexible. You can touch your little dick with your nose. Are you praising Jesus? What the fuck are you doing, Blanca? Oh, Jesus! Praise Jesus! Glory be to God! Praise Jesus! Look at me! This is too much! I, I can't believe it! Ah, oh, you're beautiful! This is... I can't thank you! First Moses, now this! God, Jesus! You ain't fucking Blanca, man. You're just a wannabe who looks like him. I don't care if you're called Blanca in a game called Street Fighter the Movie the Game. This ain't Blanca. chun Lee and some of these other motherfuckers at least look like who they say they are. But this? This is a joke. And the ending is terrible, too. They spit this nonsensical shit that makes no fucking sense. You even see him before his transformation again. I guess I like his little nipples there a little bit. That's kind of cool. Anyway, you see him before his transformation again. Like, like that's even possible because there's no going back after you drink that Kool-Aid intravenously and watch all that shit. I mean, I'm not even going to read the dumb shit that's being spewed by this game. I mean, Activision and Capcom really fucked
fuck this game up, because I swear that Incredible Technologies arcade game really isn't that bad. I mean, I played way worse fighters. I mean, the biggest flaw in the original arcade game is it doesn't have Blanca, but again, if this is what you're gonna give me, then good, keep that shit out of this game. This sorry-ass motherfucker who couldn't even get a decent makeup job isn't Blanca. He's number zero, because zero is worse than second place in this case, even though second place is the first loser. This guy doesn't even deserve zero recognition as Blanca. This wannabe Blanca's fucking sorry, lame shit. You wanna be Blanca Blanca? I mean, not only would the real Blanca kick the shit out of this Blanca imposter, this sorry ass dipshit skin and bones gal short wearing little bitch, but everybody on this list, including Blanca's mama, would kick his fucking ass too. You lose. Anyway, thank you for watching my top 16, 15, who knows, there's so many wannabe Blancas out there, because Blanca's the coolest, he's the coolest, he's the man, this could have gone on and on and on forever. I think we settled on a solid 16 though. And I'll catch you guys next time on another top top 10 list that I do. I do seem to do one of these every year. So this is number three. Done. Top 10 list on easy NES games. And uh, my kitty cat did a video on why he doesn't like Mario 3. Top 10 reason why he thinks it's overrated. I don't really like the game. I think it's overrated, but I don't hate it as much as that. As my cat. My cat really hates that game. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like that shit, thumb down. Please, I don't want a thumb in my ass. I don't want a thumb in my ass. I walk around with it up my ass all the time, so thumbs down would be great. And, uh, see you later. Thank you. Moving on to Blanca. Blanca. Everybody says Blanca. I said it stupid Japan. on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Need okay. a charge character. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause you got a claw on your hand doesn't make you not, doesn't, the same song, da da dum da dum da dum <laughs> They all wanna be Blankas. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if Blanka sounds like Blanket. Suppose it's just a dialect thing. Blanka, Blanket, Blanka, Blanka. Oh, Brenda and Carol. For that alone, having some Blanca spirit, fucking a hot hotties, electrocuting. Woo! Go to multitap.com today! <laughs> <laughs>